Extra Minutes. Ian's attitude is amazing. It wasn't always amazing. It wasn't always as positive as you are now, was it? No. No. Um, ever since, since I found out this disease has tried to take a lot of things from me and um, um, there's an obvious sort of physical sense, but um, at the start, even though I thought I was coping and I was doing well, um, in my own head, like I thought that, like I honestly thought that, but um, I went through some obvious pretty dark times where where I'd um, push people away and um, and I just want to lock myself away and sort of not go to work and not come out um, and I'd and I'd be very argumentative and and I'd snap and and I'd have sort of panic attacks and um, I was and yeah like I was very low and and there were some days where sure like I'd think about ending it and would you know, really? yeah and yeah. Um, it almost cost me sort of everything almost cost me our um, um, our marriage, like I pushed Mel away and, um, and, and I pushed all my friends away and I just sort of, sort of left myself to it really and it was finally Mel sort of leaving that, that like drove me to, uh, to see someone and to then um, onto the right pills and all those sorts of things just to get my thinking straight. Yes. I still do have down days but, um, but I think I've learned sort of coping mechanisms to like get around that and and still push forward and and I think having other people around me who sort of now see what I'm trying to do like I'm always getting emails from other MND patients and things like that that's a big sort of push for me you feel like a role model no like I don't feel like a role model it's just some days um with with the lack of funding and the sort of lack of awareness and things that have been around in the past um I sometimes wake up and think what am I doing you know why am I doing this you know why don't I just sort of spend time with Mel and rather than like traveling around the country filming and things like that and and then just every now and then, you know, no, like up pops an email from like somebody just saying thank you, you know, like my mum has MND, thank you very much. Those sorts of things really help. And how are you feeling then, Mel? I mean, obviously you understand what he's going through, but it doesn't make it any easier, does it? No, it doesn't. And, you know, we had a lot of problems with communication to start with and um, coming to grips with it. I didn't feel like I could really say anything because, you know, ultimately it is Ian going through this disease and we're all there with him, but we're not experiencing what that feels like ourselves. And you so, can't sympathise, <clears throat> can you? Really well, you can't sympathise. There's nothing you can really say no. to take away that that fear and that, that pain. Um, but I think that's a really important message for other people who have just recently been diagnosed or, you know, with any sort of a terminal illness or um, people who are, are going through a difficult time is that... Um, you know, you don't go from being diagnosed to being positive and motivated and wanting to go out and make a difference. You know, there's a there's a journey that goes on in that in that time um, that people have to sort of you know go through to find their way. And um, I think initially we had seen a few stories of people who'd had MND, other sufferers. Um, you know, Steve Gleason and Scott Sullivan, who were out there being very positive and making a huge difference. And I remember sort of thinking, oh, how did they get to that point? How did they get there? And, you know, I'd really love Ian to be able to see the, the positive side of life. And it just seemed like it was such a long road. But, um, you know, eventually he did find his way.